Warning, this video may contain content that may not be suitable for children or anyone else that is easily offended. Strong language, graphic content, nudity, bad jokes, and a possible idiot, aka myself, may be featured in the following clip. Viewer discretion is advised. You're not responsible for any damage that you receive watching this video. What's up, y'all? It's Zenzo. Welcome back to another reaction video. Today, we're going to be doing a reaction video on Mr. Nightmare's channel. So, to start with Craigslist ads, and for me, Craigslist has always been a suspicious website to go to to find anything. Whether it was a room, whether it was a bike, a, a chair, chainsaw, gummy bears, gushers, fruit snacks, whatever it was, man. Cereal. If you was looking for cereal on Craigslist, you'll probably get a cereal killer. I would never get it from Craigslist. Only thing you can get from Craigslist is deceit and death or possibly injury. I've never in my life trusted Craigslist. It was just one of those websites that just didn't seem right. The, the paint, uh, the pictures are wonky. People have one picture and not really showing what they're selling. It was kind of like a setup. People was getting robbed and stuff. I think it was even the Craigslist killer at one point in time. I'm not too sure, but I'm pretty sure there was. But if you haven't already, be sure you go stop by and go check out my last uh, gameplay, which is Amnesia Rebirth, episode four. It's getting kind of juicy. Also, if you don't want to get into that, you can also go check out my two last reactions I've done on Mr. Ballin's Horror Stories. Ah, ah, ah. All right, let's get it. I'm about to be stopping this a whole bunch. It's about to be red flags everywhere, bro. This caught me a respiration. This dad is in the spirit of Halloween. It's titled Free Candy this Halloween. I'm just gonna go ahead and stop it right there. The video hadn't even been that, that it hadn't even started yet. Free candy, trick or treat is not that serious. It's Halloween season, I get that, but that big old pile of candy, it's at ages of 13. Candy to share Don't do it, kids. I've loaded up on a lifetime supply of candies. Who will get here first to claim the most? Come with as many friends as you want, but no one over the age of 13, as I believe that's past the age for trick or treating. Also, nobody under the age of eight. Be sure to wear your costume. The better the costume, the more candies you'll get. We'll also be having a scavenger hunt in my house. Winner takes home two buckets worth of candy and anything they find. You don't need to bring parents. Red this ad was flags. found by a subscriber named BtreeX3 just a few days ago, who says the post has since been removed, likely for being flagged too many times. If there were ever an ad that screamed child endangerment, this would be it. Bro, you think? Child endangerment, bro. This is the dude from that one movie. He was like, it puts the lotion on his skin or it gets the hose again. That was that guy, bro. He said, no one, first red flag, no one over the age of 13, which just means he has a preference for kids that are 13 and younger. I hope Chris Hansen was nearby to ready to jump out and be like, hey, where are you going? Uh, don't bring your parents. So how do they go get there? You think they're about to just walk over there? Don't bring your parents. Who can gather the most candy and make sure you wear your costumes? Bro. Get this dude, bro. I know exactly what they should do. FBI, open up! It was titled, Looking for Someone Young to Clean Out Looking the Basement Back Room. The description was, Hi there. I have a big basement with a big back room. I mean, it could be a MILF. I don't know. Who posted the ad? I mean, it could either be a good trap or it could be a bad trap. But I don't know. It looks pretty clean already, so I don't know what we're going to be cleaning up. Besides probably blood stains because uh a lot of stuff that needs cleaning. Preferably somebody under the age of sixteen. I will pay twenty dollars an hour. I have a pool table, TV, and arcade games in the back room. We can have lots of fun together. In fact, you don't even have to work the whole time if you don't want to. I'll be willing to pick you up yeah, if you don't want nah, to. Red flags. Please email me ASAP. Update. I will only hire people under the age of sixteen, as I am not willing to pay more. This ad was posted by David Lovin, who was arrested yeah. for 88 counts of some kind of child endangerment. He almost caught a 13-year-old boy with this ad. However, the boy turned around after David reportedly opened the door before he could even get to the stoop, as if he were creepily watching and waiting. David was sentenced to life in prison. Good. Bruh, he was waiting for this man. He didn't even get to the doorstep yet and he opened the door. He looked like he was ready for some kind of act. He looked like, don't he just look like somebody from, from Scooby-Doo or something? Just look at this dude. He's like, oh, I wouldn't have got away in the two. It wasn't for you men, the kids, and the dog, and the Craigslist ass. Ugh. All right. What was that, this number nine? This ad is the equivalent of an old man inviting you into his van. Nothing about his picture helps the situation. No, he don't. He's basically seeking a young lady to live with him rent-free, just covering her food, drinks, and personal needs. 
Unfortunately, the wow. ad takes a turn for the worse. Somebody's the grandpa got an OnlyFans. Free of hang-ups in the bedroom, making his real intentions more than clear. This ad should be enough to make most girls uncomfortable. This is one that you really just have to hope is not real. Let me see. Another subscriber found this ad a few months ago, and the poster seems to boast about murdering somebody in cold blood and leaving their body in a dumpster in a bad neighborhood in the Bronx. Left the body in a There's dumpster. no way of verifying if this was real, as there doesn't seem to be any information on it on the internet. Well, there's only one way to find out if it's real, is to go in and investigate. But I would like to know if they did find a body out there, because that's crazy. It's actually some people that's I really like that. Just like the, I think it was the Weepy, Weepy or the Weeping Killer or something like that. He would call in every uh, once in a while and say he killed somebody. And they were like, kind of like shrugging them off. Like, oh yeah, okay, whatever, dude, stop calling the police unless it's an emergency. And they slowly started to catch on that it was him. And eventually he got caught. But some of these people are crazy like this, man. It's ridiculous. They like the fame of it. That's why so many people... Uh, during investigations, because I watched so many documentaries, they'd be like, oh, it was me, and it wasn't them. I was like, oh, it was me. Just like the Black Dahlia Killer, people were saying they did it, and the Zodiac Killer saying, oh, it was me. Like, no, people are just weird, man. The person who said like, I don't understand said it. Flagged the post, but never checked if it was taken down or not. The thing is, most people should be aware that posting something like this would likely lead to authorities getting involved in tracking the source of the ad. So it doesn't seem too likely or smart for someone to post something like this as a prank. Looking for a young teen girl to come Need clean my house girl. from the hours of 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Monday to Friday. <clears throat> I pay $15 an hour. You will be in charge of cleaning and dusting furniture, mopping, sweeping, weeding, and feeding the cats. I know it's tough to find a job at such a young age, so you likely don't oh. drive. So I'll be willing to pick you up in the morning. I work 12 p.m. to 8 p.m., so you'll only see me in the morning. I hope you can get in contact with me. And it may also be the start of a beautiful friendship. Call, text, or email for more info. One, at first I was like, it's not so creepy. Like cleaning girl, maybe he's not good at English. Maybe he made cleaning lady, you know, maid, house servant, or something like that. But I kind of like, I was like, okay, 15 an hour, that's not too bad, you know. Feed the cats and stuff. And then when he says, I know it's tough to find a job at your age. And I was kind of like, okay. Now it's kind of like a little, little bit. It's a flag. It don't got much, too much color to it. And he's like willing to pick you up with caps. Pick you up. That's like desperation right there. It's an all cap. That means he's ready to go now. And the fact that he said it's going to be the start of a beautiful friendship. Like, no, buddy. Ain't no friendships here. You about to be the uh, best friends with uh, Big Dave in jail, buddy. Um, that's not child. happening with over here. on Craigslist found it ah. very suspicious. So they reported it, it to the police. Turned out the poster of this ad was Phil Luna, who had actually already been arrested for another illegal Craigslist ordeal. He was said to have gotten onto a plane to come to Florida in order to meet what he Look thought was mustache. going to be a mother and her 11-year-old daughter, according to a Craigslist ad set up by police. Mm -mm -mm. This ad was posted very recently, and it was an extremely bizarre and disturbing request. It reads, Hello, I have an unusual request. I'm willing to pay up to $100 a night to watch a young man or woman sleep. I will pay $50 if you let me watch from outside your window. You have to keep the blinds and window open, obviously, or inside your room for $100 a night. Don't worry, I won't steal anything or hurt you. I'm an honest man who wants what he wants. No questions asked on either side. We can both benefit from this. Must be low key. A few important questions arise from this post. Namely, does this man have one being why are you so honest i get that he has a fetish or he probably seen something on one of those adult websites that made him curious to want to watch somebody sleep there's been a lot of cases of people trying to watch people i don't know what's i'm ugly when i sleep i don't know about anybody else but <laughs> i wouldn't want to watch anybody sleep me waking up and looking in the mirror is enough action and he was honest like that 50 to watch you sleep can you imagine you sleeping somebody's like mm, yeah Go ahead, turn over the blankets. Oh, yeah. Get that blanket all in there. Oh, my God. What is that? Is that a Tempur-Pedic mattress? Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, turn over. Oh, you get up to use the restroom at 11 o'clock at night? Oh, man, that's amazing. Oh, yeah. Well, here's your $50. Like, what? Actually get off somehow watching people sleep. And what would he do to somebody who actually allowed him to watch them sleep in their own bedroom? Yeah, nah. That's Donate a no for me. Donate your blood or life to Satan. 
This disturbingly nope. poorly written ad may seem like something a little kid wrote and posted as a joke. However, it was actually very real. Since the poster foolishly left the address and time of the meeting open for anybody to see, a tip was given to the police and they busted the little gathering. Five bodies. There were a total of four men dressed in black, sexual-looking, absurd garments surrounding a pentagram on the ground that was made out of human blood. They were all arrested. This next listing was an ad for a rentable room available in... So the crazy part is, I get that they were willing to get people's blood to donate, but the fact that people actually sacrificed themselves to do it. Like, you have to... What What would make somebody do something like that? Like, you know what? It's Saturday afternoon. You know, I did my homework. Uh, just, uh, you know, I don't got nothing else to do. Oh, look, Craigslist has donate blood. Hmm. All right, Mom, be right back. Like, why? 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 The house. On the surface, it looks all right. Oh, Until you read the rules, the owner. Never wrote. go in the basement. The notable ones being never ever go in the basement. That's my personal space. Do not have body down there. Funky odors. I experiment with cooking and store meats in the basement. If you're going to have guests in the house. Yeah, human meat. House only one at a time, and you must give me a heads up beforehand. One at a time, because that's how many people he can only kill at a certain at a certain point, because he can't take more than one. So he kills them one to one at a time. We do not ever use the kitchen at the same Because he's putting the bodies in the refrigerator. I'm letting you guys know right now, right? You get your notepad out, get your pen, paper, whatever it is. Make sure, what, you know, do that. Right, start writing down. Right now, we're on number four. He's putting the body in the refrigerator. So that's why he don't want you in there, because you're going to see a human toe, finger, uh, ear, earlobe, tongue, something. You're going to see something. Butt cheek hairs. I don't know. This is going to be in there. You do not take any photos or videos inside the house. That includes even because you don't want police or FBI find out his location and selfies. Do not lock any door because he wants to go in there after you and kill you. First, not the bathroom, not your bedroom. Personally, I'm no detective, but something about this ad says cannibal roommate yep. to me. If not that, the man must have been hiding something very strange. Yes, in the he is. He also couldn't help but leave it off on a creepy note. Asking for anyone who's interested to first send pictures of themselves to him before he would get back. No to noise them. after 10 p.m. He says no noise after 10 p.m. because you're already going to be dead by then, so it's going to be quiet inside the house. <laughs> this ad was posted by Anthony Brinkman. He wanted someone to do unquestionable things to his 11 year old daughter while he watched. What the heck? The motive was his own twisted sexual fantasy. Police were made aware of this ad shortly after it went online. Bring toys, a condom, and posed beer? as a woman interested in helping Brinkman fulfill his fantasy. They arranged a meeting with Brinkman at a restaurant in South St. Louis, and he arrived with his daughter. Yo. Brinkman was arrested immediately Weirdo. and later admitted to posting the ad, as well as possessing child pornography. The person who posted this one just gets straight to the point, stating he's seeking mm. a cute girl to clean it. his apartment naked or topless. He asked for a few pictures beforehand and for their hourly rate, as if there's some kind of going rate for nude apartment cleaning. Being that it's Craigslist, it's highly unlikely that this was even a joke. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I mean, this is not the worst one we've seen on this list. We've seen two people that were just completely honest with what they wanted. The dude that wanted to watch people sleep through the window and him. I mean, you want what you want and some people are into that, just like some people like to donate their blood to rituals. I mean... Weird, creepy, yes, but people are into those kind of things. You'd be surprised. In 2014, 34-year-old Sherwin Go was arrested for allegedly posing as a woman to lure underage boys to his house. Sherwin used the Craigslist personal section to post his ads, and led responders to believe time. he was female. At the time of his arrest, he had been exchanging explicit emails with at least two underage males. He was suspected to have made physical contact with one of them, Thankfully, the other boy's parents discovered the exchanges and alerted authorities before he could become Sherwin's next victim. Good job, parents. Sherwin's next victim. This ad was found last year by a subscriber by the name of Nico, who found the ad immediately suspicious. So, this is what happens. Follow the mouse, alright? So, he's gonna be like, hey man, it's Halloween season. If you want candy, you have to go through this maze. And if you get to the other side, you get candy and other amazing prizes. And they'd be like, oh wow, really? And they'd be like, yeah. You crawl through, right? So you crawl through, you crawl, you crawl, and you're like, oh man, I'm going this way. Boom, it's a dead end. You go this way and you come down. You're like, oh, okay, I'll go to the left then. Boom, 
You come back down this way, it's like, boom, you hit the wall. You're like, oh man, I guess I'll just come back, right? And then you make your way right here, and he slide this part off and tape it, and tape you up, and then send you off somewhere to Amazon or something. He had Red come stop by this house for a homemade basement haunted house maze, full of scares and candies. And death. Catered towards middle schoolers and under. Free soda and pizza will be upstairs. After doing a reverse image search of the picture, he was able to find it on the internet already. After realizing this, he decided to drive by the house as it wasn't too far from him. And when he passed the address on the ad, he saw, in his words, a very small, off-putting house with a sketchy-looking man in a trucker's hat and dirty jeans sitting on the front stoop. He took one look, made eye contact with the man, and drove off. The ad was removed the next day. Hopefully nobody actually showed up to the house. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if it did. Well, be all. Hope you guys enjoyed Mr. Nightmare. I'm going to leave a link down in the description to his YouTube channel. Also, I'm going to leave a link down in the description to his original video so you guys don't have to hear me blabbing and talking throughout the whole video. And also, I'm going to leave his social media and all that stuff down in the description. Let me know down in the comment section what you guys think was the worst uh, Craigslist ad uh, out of the 12. Definitely watching you sleep in the last one that he said with the trucker's hat and the little maze. I think those were like the worst ones that I can like. That kind of like stood out to me. I think that would be extremely scary. If you enjoyed my content, be sure you like, comment, and <laughs> on the subscribe button, be a part of Murder Crows today. Again, no one toys today. I love you. Be sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, support your boy. If you have any recommendations for reaction videos, let me know. I'm going to start posting reaction videos for the next month, which is November. I'm going to try something new and see how it goes. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.